Uh, I'm Dave Robertson. Uh, I'm a professor of applied logic and I'm the head of school elect for uh, the School of Informatics at the University of Edinburgh. So my research is uh, related to the, the internet and to building large-scale systems on the internet. So the sort of systems that uh, I'm interested in are the ones that are composed of lots and lots of little processes, the sort of things that are on phones or in computers, wherever you like, and they're operating peer-to-peer. -peer. So uh, that's a bit like if people uh, know Skype, uh, the peer-to-peer -peer phone system. It operates very well because it distributes across lots and lots of peers on the network. It would be great if systems that work the same way that uh, Skype does could do other more interesting things for you, like be able to help arrange your music collections, you know, could book flights and hotels, could or help organize diaries between people, arrange meetings, and all of those sort of more complicated things uh, that things like Skype can't do. And we'll be seeing more of those systems coming through in the next few years, and the, the academic work that we're doing helps to give the foundations for those kinds of systems. I come from Shetland, so far north of the, of, the, of the UK, stuck in a remote island. I come from um, what would people, people would typically call a working class family. So, so uh, uh, my father was, uh, was a labourer and a fisherman. Uh, five brothers and sisters, and typically they went into the professions. So they would be teachers, nurses, that kind of thing. Uh, one of them was a doctor. Um, but they were the first generation to do that. I spent a lot of time reading and so on, um, as you might imagine, since I ended up in, in the kind of academic mode. But I also spent an awful lot of time outdoors, which is almost unavoidable in my family because of the kind of fishing side of things. I spent a lot of time in boats and so on. Partly because Edinburgh is a prestigious university. Partly because it wasn't Aberdeen, and many Shetlanders go to Aberdeen, and I thought it would be nice to go somewhere else. Partly uh, because um, I was chasing a woman, actually. Um, I actually married her, our 25th wedding anniversary is this year, so I'm, I, uh, she, she made an honest man of me. At the university, I did uh, a degree in ecology. I was a biologist, not a computer scientist, so even, even uh, in my undergraduate degree, I never thought of doing computing, computing science. And I got involved in computing through biology uh, because at that time simulation work was starting to take off in, in biology. One of the things that you learn in any decent place in academia is that everything is fiercely competitive. Lectureship comes up. You, you compete for the lectureship. In fact, I remember that particular interview. I was absolutely certain I was dead um, because uh, the interview panel contained people who were you know, really very eminent in the area. So I think actually that, that did me a lot of good. I was very relaxed in the interview for that particular lectureship um, because I felt I was so much of, the, of an underdog there. But that must, must have worked. Um, they took me on. A lot of people tend to view the sciences as being essentially, you know, in the, in, the, in the worst kind of limiting case, being rather like accountancy. You just kind of do your experiments, you're hunched over a lab, you do the work and you churn out the results. And informatics really isn't like that. It and the reason why is because it's an amalgamation of mathematics uh, and traditional sciences. So you need maths in order to do it. A lot of it, if you're very theoretical, feels just like maths. The thing about that is it's abstract. The nice thing about being in my line of work is that I still have options. So uh, here I am, I'm 47 or something, uh, and there's still different things I could do.